get forward with force I endorse any sources near by boards in these parts Yo, roll me some beers, I'ma go with these odds Till I see stars, till I be me Large dream, three yards, till you see me Acting like a retard Hey guys, welcome back to Bosch Gaming. Uh, quick video here today. Uh, we're just going to be benchmarking a CPU, which is the i5-2320, which is the Sandy Bridge CPU. Uh, so it's second generation on the 1155 socket. Um, and because I've got my hands on it, I may as well bench it. So without further ado, we'll get into the benches, which is uh, pass mark 7, all the CPU benchmarks for that, and Cinebench 11.5, and we'll see how we go. Drinking here, put your glasses up. Up, 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 up my bottles. My bottles, my bottles, my bottles, my bottles, my bottles, my bottles. Yeah, yeah. Whiskey remix like a phoenix, feel the reborn. Watch your porn, see your three tits, fearless in the beer. See this, so we get we need beer like vehicles, they be licks. We sip at the bar, raise into these lips. We feel like Scott. Alright, so I've got my cheat sheet here. Um, yeah, again, i5 CPU, so this, you know, it's not a hugely expensive CPU. This is more, um, well, I'd classify it as a gaming CPU. Something that you're not going to go over the top and be able to render in, you know, a millisecond and uh, all that kind of video editing, sound editing and all that kind of stuff. Um, however, it's very, very good and solid um, if you're looking for a, a moderately priced CPU that's definitely going to do the job in games. As you can see by the benchmark results, um, it certainly beats its older brother, um, which is uh, what it replaced <coughs> quite easily. Uh, it's got a higher clock speed. Um, and yeah, so all around I'd say it's a pretty solid CPU. Sorry this video is so quick, but there's not much more to say on the matter. Moderately priced CPU. Um, uh, whether you want to go this or an Ivy Bridge is up to you. Sandy Bridge, Ivy Bridge, eh, there's not really a huge difference between them aside from maybe the power draw and that's about it. Um, and the onboard graphics, but we're not worried about that because we're using a discrete graphics card. Um, so yeah, moderate improvement, very good. Thanks for watching. See you later.